Hello, this is me, Holy Prime. I'm finally back on YouTube. I know I've been gone for a while, but I just don't have the time lately. But you know who we're reviewing tonight? Crowbar! Crankcase and Hatchet Cyberverse figures. They're quite good. Well, they all roll. Well, this one rolls well. This one rolls well. Get out of there for a second. And this one doesn't have real wheels. But these are removable. And I'll show you what else they do during transformation. And here is crankcase. Little Decepticon symbol on his door. And that's his underneath. Well, let's just form him. All you have to do is pull the doors out, slide them like that, pull on these, on his feet, pull down, pull the back part, push that in. And I don't know why they have such a big open space like that, but. That is Crankcase. Yes, it is. He is a nice figure overall. Articulation goes all the way around because it's on a ball joint. Ball joint legs, then hinges and whatnot. His head doesn't turn. For all y'alls. Perk one of them. Okay. Here is the second one. Crowbar. Oops. Well, this guy's each easy to transform too. You, you pop apart the back side, like this one right here. Okay, maybe from right there, yeah, that helps better. By a lot. Then you pull on this one. Then to form the feet, you just fold it all the way front and then the feet all the way back. Same with this one. See, look. All the way forward, all the way back. Now for his arms. You just pull apart the rest of him and flip it down. And there you have most of Hatchet. You have to spin his waist around entirely. Spin his legs around. And that would be our all, that would be everyone's favorite character of them all, Crowbar. About the same articulation, ball joints, ball joints, except for he has waist articulation. And that's about all for him. That's their heights. Who is taller than Crowbar? I know you can't see Crankcase's face all that well, but yeah, that's the best I can get it. Oh, we'll just let him lay there. And last, but not least, the biggest, the baddest of them all, Hatchet. In the movie, they're all the same vehicle. They just couldn't do that with these toys. Well, remove his missile pods. And there you have him. Just open the back. Right there you see his head. You want to reach in there. And pull out his head. He has a nose ring if you would look carefully. And I just tilt his head down. There's a little part in the instructions that it doesn't tell you to do. You can flip this forward. To make the back look more complete. That's why I do it always. Then you flip up those wings, separate his hands from his side, and there you go, you have most of his arm. Then you do the same as this side, separate, combine the leg part again, and there. Now for the back, you just pull this out, push it back. 
and this separates to form his feet. You push this back, push this forward, push this out of the way. Oh yeah, and you want to push this up if it doesn't do that automatically. Put his feet in correct positions, and if we can get him in standing correctly, this is the dread they call hatchet. And right here is his missile pod. One of his missile pods you can spin around. Make a gun. Same with this one. This one's a Gatling gun. Then you can combine them like this. Make one huge weapon. But a hatchet can't hold a weapon like this, so you have to keep them separated. I always put his Gatling gun on his right shoulder. And his. I'll just call it a laser gun on the right, on his left shoulder. But to what to you, his left is his right, and his right is his left. Okay. Now let's make him stand perfectly. Now see, size comparison with them all. Hatchet is definitely the second tallest. Because crowbar is taller. But Hatchet is the longest and the biggest. And there's a nice little thing about all three of them. They can also hold his weapons. See, look. He's got a little hole in his hand, so you can put this in. Uh, put his Gatling gun back. <laughs> And crowbar, even though this doesn't work, right, this crankcase, even though this doesn't work very well, I'm going to do it anyway. You good it? <laughs> Sorry, I just had to do that western accent. There you go, or whatever accent that was, I had no idea what I was doing really. You good that? you boo, you got that? Well, Hatchet's got a lot of articulation that I really... I think it's quite neat. Well, you should get all three of them, and if you don't, if you just want to get one of them, get him. Dude, get him. And soon I'll be reviewing a Striker Optimus Prime from Takara. I know, different. But I got it. I'm reviewing it when I get him. That doesn't mean next time, but, well, thanks for coming and watching my video. Thank y'all. And I recommend all of them, but him the m most. Because of, he's kind of movie accurate, but not fully, but he's the best. Well, this is Halva Prime. Sign off of YouTube for today. See ya. Yeah. Can I think of anything else to say? No. Not really. Not much at all. Other than this. Hey, Crowbar, watch me. I can fly! No, you can't, please! He died a horrible death from Crankcase. Same with Cro Okay, same situation. Hey, Hatchet, I believe I can fly! Holy crap! <laughs> that was awesome, look. Yeah, and I'm just filling up dead air. This time for reals. Or is it? See ya. Signing off now. Poor realist.